That doesn't sound right. I mean, Pithra sounds... <laughs> Mira. No! All right. Uh, I'm so glad that I'm here in the flesh for uh, Devin's final transformation into primetime yeah! DJ. Mm -hmm. Speaking of primetime DJ, we're going to get right into it with Mithra Pyra. <laughs> with some sweet Duck Hunt. sounds. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is one thing that Duck Hunt does have available, is a nice vertical chase. Um, in addition to the projectiles that can keep them on the ground, obviously they can hit Can a little bit high, they can put um, Gunmen a little bit high as well. But yeah. Already we're seeing some really cool things from Frozen. The way that they hit the Gunmen in order to extend the hitbox of the move. Uh, but as it stands right now, I do think that it's, it's really interesting to watch Pithra players decide when to switch. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, no tech available. Well, no tech made on that one, but that's okay. Coming into the next stock, Pyramithra does have a little bit of explosive power, but Thorson's gonna have to find their way in. Yeah, at this moment, Zane sort of slowing things down now. Ooh, but it seems like maybe that slowed down style was what Frozen was looking for. You see, as soon as he gets Zane into the corner, that's when he switches to the Pyra. The moves on are so strong, and look at the damage and knockback from them. Mm -hmm, they are pretty nutty, although we get to a position like this where they're full stage again. It uh, doesn't cost too much to switch back, but I'm going to keep an eye out for if there's a sudden reversal where suddenly Zane takes uh, the edge guarding situation and they have to find a time that they can switch to Mithra. Yeah, I mean, I, th I like the idea that I think Frozen is staying with uh, Pyra right now, mm -hmm. really trying to look for the kill. 119% on Zane. That's not, like for Pyra, that's absolute kill percent. For Mithra, not so much. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, we see her out right now putting up this big wall, and it is very difficult to deal with Can. Very tricky, can go multiple different directions depending on what it's hit by, can combo into it, can combo out of it. It's excellent. All right, finally going to be closing out that stock there. Frozen, ooh, oh, the Can, I can. think, actually <laughs> saved them right there. Did you see Zane <laughs> shake the head? Oh, that was fantastic. That's like, Zane is like, oh, I knew that Can was there and that would stop it. There was no, there was no, you know, just... I feel like some people are like, I don't even know what happened. I don't feel like that happened with Zane. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like you got to be big brain to juggle all this. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? You <laughs> saw. How many times did the B button have to be pressed for that can to be there? That was planned. And not only that, the hover at the very end, like mm -hmm. he kind of, they kind of started delaying it in order to keep it at the exact point where Prominence Revolt would just go right back down into it. Yes, and even if you don't get a combo off of it, we just saw it over there with the, um, with the toss up, with the can chasing. It's scary for mix ups. Do you burn your air dodge? Do you burn your double jump and try to land on this character who can just put more hitboxes, more projectiles down? It's a scary position to be in. Yeah, and right now Frozen fu playing from way behind, going super deep for that. I think I like that. Have never really shown that ledge attack as an option up until now. But trying to look for <laughs> in the end of the kill come that's <laughs> Zane's like, oh man. What's going wrong? <laughs> Even that calculated. Zane's still having such a lead in this situation. Did the explosion of Can just get Duck Hunt out of the combo? I think that's what just happened. Yeah, I mean Can, I believe it spawns frame one. It spawns uh, very fast, yes. Yeah. Shades of Snake. Right. Okay. Scary position. Nothing on the tech chase. Yeah. This, this is the sort of thing where, oh, Pyra is probably the swap. There's the switch. Yeah. I just, it's, there it's it sort is. Of, <laughs> the thing is, like, so Pyra has the air mobility, but mm. I believe, sorry, Mithra has the air mobility, but I believe Pyra has the much more reliable recovery, yep. especially against Duck Hunt, who can just put a can out at the height where, you know, once uh, Mithra does her up B, just like, okay, can waiting for you, because I know where you, you're going to end up being. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Frozen was trying to do the swap to use the invulnerability, which I assume is I think there. there's no invulnerability. There's no in the invulnerability? Swap, actually. Okay. I believe, I, so it's like, if you can, if you compare it to Pokemon Trainer, mm -hmm. I believe, um, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, anybody, there is no invulnerability, but it's much faster. Much faster? I can So, and that. you also don't lose momentum when you do it. So, mm. like, if you are moving in the air and you use down B, you'll continue on your projected trajectory. I see. Well, in that case, I guess it was just a poor situation to be in. Especially because, like you say, Mithra's up B is slow. 
It's not the slowest thing in the world. It does have the travel time, but the little bump with the projectiles, if you're not already at the ledge, you don't want to be in that position. All right, we're going to have Smashville for game two, which is, I believe Duck Hunts like this stage. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, having access to can, you can just stay in the middle and do all sorts of fun, cute things with it. True. Perhaps Frozen is maybe hoping for a little bit of a roof there. It may also help with some Mithra and Pyra combos. I have seen a lot of Mithra play where they're just taking people across the stage, so we may see a little bit of that here. Ooh, we're starting to see the Foresight uh -oh. come out as well, but look at the damage. When did Frozen mm -hmm. take 100? Yep, the, uh, the two disc tosses, those combos hurt really bad. Yeah, Frozen looking for a way to maybe get a little bit of control back in their favor. Switching to Pyra now that they have the stage control. I like that. But the Blazing Edge, that's kind of a committal thing to throw out. Once that once that blade comes out, you cannot use any attacking moves. So once Zane got to ledge he cut and dodged it, he kind of got off at the ledge for free. Mm -hmm. And it is... Um a big commitment, though. Thankfully, you can move while you're doing it, which does allow people to mix up, but not having attack options during that time is a big yeah. deficit. Oh, that trade actually... Wow, you traded with Pyra and came out on top. Uh -huh. Only for a second, though, but yes. nonetheless. I, I, I'm right there with you. I thought that, um, that Zane was done on that one. I thought they were both going to DBZ it. Yeah, right. but... Oh, speaking of DBZ, mm -hmm. trading Cam blowing up in both of their faces. All right, and now we're going to see a little bit of Mithra juggling, pulling out Pyra for the potential kills. Lots of damage and knockback, as you said, although a little bit slower. So we'll see if Frozen can get back in. Yeah, well, the thing is that Frozen also going Pyra once, he, once they manage to get the lead. So I do like that idea, although... Oh, again, yeah, going for the swap, and Zane is just ready for it. That's going to be another big trade, and both mm -hmm. of them getting sent off to the stage. Somehow, none of them die for it. You see how the can was covering right there um, when they went for the forward smash? It's stuff like that that makes death count so tricky, especially because it can be maneuvered during. Nice. All right, that's going to be extra damage. Duck Hunt can still make that back, but they've got to make the recovery. Ooh. That's smart. Invincibility on the getup attack to trade with the can, but they're not going to take any damage. Oh, did you notice that rolling at just the exact time that the gunman came out? But Zane was still ready for it and managed to get another hit. And at this point, if you're frozen, there's the can once more. Oh, it extends the hurt box by hitting the can? Mm -hmm. Unless my eyes deceive me, that was exactly what Zane did. It could have been the explosion or the up there on that one. I think it was just say. to extend the hitbox of it. It might be. Of the multi-hits. I mean, it might have connected regardless, but mm -hmm. just the coverage that Zane had right there. Yes, that definitely works. Yep. Get yep. up attack. Get up attack has full invincibility throughout, so... Mm -hmm. like, Looks it's like Frozen was right trying to space it just a little bit further, but didn't quite get it, but that's fine. That happens. That's a very tight spacing to get. Yeah, man, with Mithra's aerial mobility. Oh, that no. Be... Is oh, he no. No, he's gone. No, yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. That was so what quick. If... Instant. <laughs> I feel like with Duck Hunt, it becomes a grind game, and then the grind stops, mm -hmm. and it just ends with a... No, Look this, at that explosive this play. is of the same... <laughs> Uh-huh, exactly. This is Literally. of the same ilk of, uh, you know, you watch players like Sinji or John Numbers where it's a lot of neutral back and forth, a lot of very slow play at times, and then someone who's not familiar with the matchup or makes a particularly bad mistake, oh, I took 70 damage and died.